Remember when I told you about the delicious Reykjavik food walk tour? Well, according to TripAdvisor, it is the highest rated food tour in the world. They are getting so popular that they needed to start adding more departure times to keep up with demand. And with that, they're adding a brand new stop at the start of the tour. I'm here today with one of the lead guides to show you up close and personal what you can expect at this new mouthwatering restaurant. Let's get into it. guys so we are here this is our uh, first restaurant on our 333 route we also have it as a first restaurant on our new food and drinks tour it's a new restaurant added on to food tours um, today we have about seven departures on a regular day basis and they are kind of all fully booked throughout the summer so we definitely saw we needed to add more uh, departures in our daytime so we hopefully are going up to about nine or ten departures in a day uh, which means we have to add more restaurant this is a new restaurant we added on to food tours, become one of my personal new favorites. Uh, it's kind of a hidden gem of Iceland. It's right outside the kind of central downtown area. Not a lot of tourists come here. It's mainly kind of local Icelanders that come here. Really popular place called the Appetizer Bar. So they really only serve like appetizers and dessert dishes. They can vary from sizes, but it's a really fun place to go to, like ordering a bunch of stuff to try around. And they've been open since 2011. I personally think for a restaurant in Reykjavik to be open for 12 years and still be this amazing, good in quality and really popular just says a lot. Um, we are trying a couple of different dishes here today. We're trying, which regularly comes on the food tour, is a option of two meat dishes. And then we are also going to be trying the pescatarian dish and the vegetarian dish to show you guys what we are offering on our food tour because we do accommodate every single dietary restriction. The restaurant here, it mainly does, like they have a rule of using only Icelandic produce, but the dishes itself has a little bit of a Southern European um, fusion in it. Basically, the head chef and owner here, he used to work around in Southern Europe. He traveled a lot working in hotel, restaurants, and then he finally moved here back to Iceland and opened up this appetizer bar. So it is traditional Icelandic ingredients, uh, fish, meat dishes, but with that kind of Southern European effect to it. Really excited to show you guys. Scowl. So if you are a pescatarian coming on our food walk, this is what you will get at our first stop here. It is their hot smoked salmon on top of a crispy potato, kind of like a hash brown. Uh, they have some lettuce with it, then they use Icelandic made wasabi mayo. So this is wasabi roots taken from Iceland and they make their own mayo here. Basil and dill oil also, also uh, over it. And then some uh, sunflower seeds with it as well. If you are a vegetarian or vegan coming on the food tour in this restaurant, you will be trying their edamame quesadilla. It's an edamame quesadilla with a salsa, kind of a little guacamole on there, some corn, little chili, coriander or cilantro as some people call it. Their bell pepper, come on up. Cooley. Cooley, their bell pepper cooley here with it. And then also that basil dill over it, uh, oil over it as well. Really beautiful dish. Regularly, if you eat everything and you come on the food tour, you will have an option to try either one of these two. We always suggest and recommend to try this dish over here, the, the grilled horse filet. Now, it goes out the side of the comfort zone for a lot of people eating horse meat. Uh, even with Icelanders, not everybody eats horse meat here. A couple years back, I met my girlfriend and her family, they really do love it. And uh, first time meeting my girlfriend's parents for uh, dinner, uh, there was horse for dinner. And I didn't want to say anything, I didn't want to be that guy, so I just went with it. I tried it and it was instantly just changed. I mean, it's such a delicious meat. It's very much similar to a beef, it's, it's so tender, it's not gamey at all, and a truly an amazing dish I highly recommend to try. It is their slow-cooked, reverse-seared, grilled horse filet on top of some caramelized onions, have a bacon crumble over it, their homemade Bernays sauce and red wine with juice sauce with it. They have a little bit of mashed potatoes, crispy turnips, some fried up broccolini, and also some fried up Brussels sprouts. I personally love this combination of the red wine with juice sauce with the Bernays sauce. They 
work so well together. This over here is their herb crusted grilled uh, lamb ribeye. You have a parsley puree on the bottom, some sauteed wild aesthetic mushrooms, a little broccolini, uh, also that Brussels sprout, and then their red one with do sauce over as well. Truly both are amazing. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Right? Wow. Yeah, that's really amazing. Hits the spot, you Hits know? Hits the spot. <laughs> I think this is just like you said, like it's so unique, you yeah. know? It's something you would have never imagined to try and it shocked you so much. Absolutely. Right? All right, so we do pescatarian or vegetarian first? As you can see, we feasted. It was incredible. I am so glad that I got to try out this new foodie stop. The food walk tour was amazing to begin with, but adding this stop just is icing on the cake. So I loved everything that we tried here. Ben just asked me what my favorite dish was, and I couldn't choose between the horse and the salmon. So if you come, definitely try both of those, but also know that if you're a vegan, they have vegan options for every stop on their way as well. Now, to wash it down with an ice cold beer. Scout. Scout. 